Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about three important concepts in about collection in Power Apps. They are clear, collect, clear, and remove. So let's uh, go to them. Uh, in the last video on collection, when we talked about concept of collect in collection, I asked you a question. What happens if collect function is called more than once? And this question should be a good contextual point for understanding these concepts around clear collect. So let's let's understand what happens. So here is a simple app. Here's a gallery control just to recap the last video, uh, which is connected, which has its data source mentioned as employees. Uh, this employees collection is right now empty. As you can see, view collections and the collection exists, but it's all empty. And for putting data into collection, we use the concept we learned in the last video called collect. So you say collect, employees, and two records. Now, I'll run this. And when I click on this button, because uh, the button is now collecting those two records in this collection. We got these two records in the gallery because gallery is now connected to the collection that where we are adding data from this button. So what happens if I click this button again? You notice this data keeps coming again and again. Is this okay? This seems to be a problem. In some cases it is okay because you may want to just keep collecting data and not remove the previous one. But in some cases, your intention is only to initially populate the data, just get the initial set of values. So you don't want to keep adding data, you want to clear whatever is there and add more. And that's the exact purpose of clear collect function of collection. So all it's clear collect is very simple. All I have to do here is go back here and instead of collect, I'll just say clear collect. Uh, I'll remove collect. And that's it. So rest of the syntax is exactly the same. You're saying clear collect. As you can see here, it creates a new or does it for the existing collection. You give the name of the collection and then the records, the items that you want to add. So all it does is first clears the value that is in there this in this collection and then adds these two. So now when I run this, you will see there's nothing here right now. No matter how many times I click on this, I will not get more than two records because every time I click on this, it's just removing whatever is already there and adding those two items. So that's all about clear collect. Now what happens what do you do if you want to just get rid of this completely? So there's another simple function called clear. And the way I'm going to show you is add another simple button here. And let's say I say clear everything. And now for this button on on select, all I will do is I'll say clear and all this clear takes is one argument, which is the name of the collection. In our case, it is employees. Power Apps is already giving us the hint that there's a collection called employees. And that's all it takes. So now when I run it and say clear everything, everything is gone from the collection. When I click on this, it's again adding those two. So this is about how to, let me just get these two data again. So this is about how do you do clear collect where you remove the previous values and add and how do you remove everything. Now last important concept here is remove. So let's say what if you want to remove one particular record, let's say first record, the second record, or if you have multiple records, any particular record in the collection. And collection, just to recap from the last time, it's more like a table. So what happens if you want to delete a particular record from this table, which is called collection in Power Apps? Uh, so for that, you use this simple concept called remove. And the way to demonstrate that, I'm gonna, for this gallery, I'm going to add a button for this gallery, which will 
say that, which will indicate that if you click on that delete button, I'll add a delete icon here. If you click on delete icon, it should remove that particular record. So let me do that first. In gallery, as you know, it's very simple to do any kind of customization. Since I had to add, I wanted to add a delete button. All I did is I went to the first row of this gallery and whatever I do after selecting the first row, it just happens for all the rows. And I just selected one icon which indicates it's a trash bin. You could select anything. And right now when I run it, it will not do anything because I have not done any work to handle this. Now I want to, uh, when the user clicks on this button, this icon, I want to remove that particular row. So if the user clicks here, Mary Beth should be gone. If I click here, the entire row for Richard Back should be gone. And doing this is very simple. All you have to do here is on the click of this button, of this icon, just say remove. And remove takes the first argument as employees, that is the name of the collection. And then you tell which item you want to remove. And since we are using gallery, it's very simple. All I can say is this item. And as you know, in gallery, if you say this item, that means it's the row on which the user takes the action. So if this item means if the user does it here, this action impacts the first row. If the user clicks on this, the, this action impacts second row. So this item is this and so on. And that's all I have to do. So now let's run it and see. So let's say user clicks here and you see this is gone. User clicks here, this is gone. Just to see it again, I got this back. User clicks on this, this is gone. User clicks on this, this is gone. So that's all uh, to the co three concepts that we talked about, uh, which are clear collect, clear and remove. Very simple, but very, very powerful concepts in Power App. Uh, so that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more videos on Power Apps and collection. Uh, I'll keep posting more concepts related to these two topics. We'll also do some kind of a sample app, sample projects to drive these points more home. Stay in touch with us. Here are some ways to stay in touch. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also write very regularly on Medium, claudatica.medium.com or medium.com slash at claudatica. For newsletter training on coaching, reach out to us by emailing at hello at claudatica.com or visit our website claudatica.com. Thank you.